Good morning. It is 7.54 a.m. on Friday, May 20th, 2022. I'm Christiana Ellis. I've been up for a little bit. This is five more minutes. So I continue today to be like, like I feel a little bit of like sinus, like throat inflammation, but no fever, no cough. And so that's probably not COVID, but it's just enough of a, like, this feels different than usual to be like, hmm, I don't know. So I ended up not going to D&D last night, which is a bummer, because I like that. But, uh, I mean, what are you going to do? you got to be careful. Uh, I was out of rapid tests, and those aren't always a guarantee anyway. But, um... What are you going to do? So in any case, I had an evening free last night. And what did I decide to do? I decided to watch a bunch of TV and movies. So I watched, more or less in this order, two more episodes of The New Kids in the Hall. And liked those. Still good. Still enjoying that. Uh, I'm enjoying that pace two at a time. Feels like a good rate for those for me. Uh, and then I watched the finale of season one of the Halo TV show on Paramount Plus. And for context, I've not watched or I've not played any of the games. So no context there in terms of the story. I've been more or less enjoying the show so far. Although there was a few things that are like, hmm, I'm not sure about this, but I'll see where it's going. <sighs> but oh boy, I was really frustrated with the finale. Did not like it. Um, it just like had a bunch of action and attempts at emotional payoff, but just on almost every beat, I was like, okay, well, like the moment to moment action is okay, I guess, but like we just keep having stuff happen that doesn't make any sense or feels like it's missing a setup or like what, wait, what, why is that happening? There's no rules for this particular element. Okay, this beat is going on a long time, and like it just feels very chaotic in at what feels like an unintentional way. Um, and then a lot of emotional beats that just don't feel earned, like, like you know, I see it happening, and I'm just like, well, but what? That th no, no, you're not there yet. And then also revealed that like. It, the, the alien's plan doesn't even make any sense. And so it just, I don't know. I was enjoying the show and it just, the finale felt like it just squandered all of that. Um, made me feel like I wasted my time watching the show, which is frustrating because I'd been enjoying it. Like I said, you know, it was just one of those things where like a couple of the places where I'd said, oh, you know what, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll keep up with this, uh, assuming to hoping it's going somewhere. Um, and, and including all the parts that uh, I had thought really worked well, um, just felt like it just crashed into a wall. And it's disappointing. Mm. Uh, meanwhile, the third episode of Star Trek Strange New Worlds was better than that, for sure. Um, I will say, I feel like the science of it made <laughs> was, was pretty nonsensical, even for Star Trek. Like... All right, okay, you know, like a lot of it just is, you know, it's very, very Star Trek jargony. Like, I, you know, it's one thing that Star Trek has always had a bunch of like, well, just say a bunch of fancy words and that'll make the science do whatever you want. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's always been true in Star Trek, but occasionally it just starts to feel like, well, this is not based on on anything at all you know it's you're you're just completely you do not care if it makes any kind of sense um but that said 
it was in support of a character-based story that I did enjoy. I liked, I liked several elements of the story being told with that nonsensical science. And you know what? I continue to like the cast. There you go. Uh, but then I watched, for the second time ever, Cloud Atlas. And this was inspired because I've been listening to the Blank Check podcast. They've been going through uh, the Wachowskis. Uh, and I enjoyed so much their episode about Speed Racer that I decided to watch Cloud Atlas in advance of listening to their episode about it. I had not seen it in, since the theater. I remembered liking it more or less at the same time that it takes hmm, some uh, perhaps ill-advised um, ideas. In particular, so first of all, if you're not familiar with the movie at all, what it does is it's telling like six different stories over a space of 600 years that are all interlaced with each other. And it's based on a book that I have not read, but my understanding is the book tells the stories one after another and not intercut between each other. But I think it's a good idea to do that in the movie. But it's all about like the human spirit and how our effects and our actions have effects on each other, and an act of kindness can reverberate across the years, and all of that, and I really like all of that, but part of what they do in it, that especially this element I think was the most controversial about it, is that they do have many character, many of the actors playing roles in each of the stories, right? Like they have their main actors for each story, that are the same actors in each time period, but playing different characters and often playing different characters where uh, of different genders and races and using makeup to make a white man look like a Korean man or an attempt anyway, um, and so on and so forth. Now, I think they were at pains to try to avoid the baggage around that stuff for one, there's no blackface at any point, although, you know, that's not to say that it, what they're doing is better. I'm just saying that at the very least, you don't have any white actors playing African-American characters. It is a broadly diverse cast, although, like, it's still, I think, primarily white, but you have several uh, characters of uh, East Asian descent and Af African-American descent and so on. Um, and uh, you never have uh, a dark-skinned character being the bad guy in any of the stories. But I think you, you just, A, the makeup does look weird in many cases. And I, on it, I wonder if, if that were not the case, I wonder if it might have been received better. Because it does look weird. And as a result, I think even people who might be more inclined to go along with it are, are kind of bounced off for that reason. But also there's just kind of, I think, too much cultural baggage around the whole idea of blackface for it to kind of ever fly, even when the well-intentioned point is that we're all, it's, it's like human spirits across the, the centuries and we're all really the same and and the and uh, like the continuity of the human spirit and the commonality of the human spirit and i think all of that is like well intentioned and it sounds good and i and i don't even like hate it completely in concept but you just can't quite get away from that cultural baggage it's too close to some really historically messed up stuff and then the makeup also doesn't look um, great. It's kind of uncanny in several spots. And so unfortunately, I think what is actually a very ambitious and interesting and touching movie ends up weighed down by that creative decision that, I mean, I think it's fair to criticize even if I think their intentions were good. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I actually like the movie is, is the point, except that I think, unfortunately, it had this element which kind of sinks it, unfortunately. Um, 
in terms of ever being more broadly accepted is what I mean. Um, but I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.